I'm gonna let you go down to that section of the trail and then I'm gonna do a shot as you walk on it. Wow, that water looks amazing. We're here on location this morning in the beautiful Smith Rock, Oregon. We're gonna see how much we can shoot in a day using the Ninja 5. Constantly playing a game of catch up with the athletes while also stopping to get sweet shots. You gotta, you gotta move quick out here. So the Ninja 5 can take a 4K, 60 frames per second image recorded in 10-bit ProRes and give you so much to work with in post. And the really functional part about it is that it's so portable. So it's a small five inch display that's super bright at a thousand nits. It's kind of crazy that there's a recorder in here while also being an awesome monitor. That will turn into a shadow in the sun, when the sun's kind of like right at the right spot. For me, with the shooting style, it's really important to be able to move fast, so that way I don't miss some of those special in-between moments. And so having a monitor camera set up that I can change quickly in between handheld rigs to the gimbal, and also just boot up quickly so I can get the shot, that's really important to me when we're out here. I use the one-to-one -one punch in kind of as I've got my framing and it just makes it a lot easier to be pulling focus and actually getting the shot instead of just thinking you are. So not only is the Ninja 5 an incredible recorder, just capturing a really robust 10-bit signal out of the camera, but some of the favorite features that I use when I'm actually just out shooting is the exposure features. And then later I can actually just easily review the footage with the athletes or with the client and I can show them what the shot looked like and then we can pick favorites and we can set in and out points. So that way when I'm actually in the edit suite, I can get to work really quickly and already have my favorites selected. Just allows things to move quicker. I've got to say the Ninja 5 is definitely coming on every project from now on because it's just way too functional. It does all the things that I need it to do exposure and camera wise, and it's just a brilliant recorder.